Okay, so CAT 2022 slot 1 VRC, we are looking at a summaries type question, a very interesting question type. Let's read at this particular one. So, what exactly are we looking at? We are looking at, it is not that modern historians of medieval Africa have been ignorant about the contract between Ethiopia and Europe. They just had the powers dynamic reversed. So, there is some sort of an idea giving to you an idea or a perspective that is presented to you which basically supports that the historians of the medieval Africa were not ignorant about the contract between Ethiopia and Europe we're talking about Ethiopia and Europe it is just that the power dynamic reversed the traditional narrative stressed Ethiopia as weak and in trouble in the face of aggression okay from external forces so Ethiopia sought military assistance from their fellow Christians to the north. But the real story buried in plain sight in medieval diplomatic text simply had not yet been put together by modern scholars. So Ethiopia maybe was not that weak. Recent research pushes scholars of medieval Europe to imagine a much more richly connected medieval world. So we are talking about a richly connected medieval world. At the beginning of the so-called age of exploration, there is evidence that kings of the Ethiopia were sponsoring their own diplomat diplomacy, missions of diplomacy, faith and commerce. Interesting. Let's read the options. The first one says, medieval historical sources selectively promoted the narrative that powerful European forces were called to protect weak African civilization such as Ethiopia. First of all, African civilization such as Ethiopia has not been discussed. This is far from reality a very strong statement i mean although you can say that this basically pushes you towards the summary but a strong statement medieval texts have been cherry picked yes cherry picked is a good word to promote the view of ethiopia as a weak and in need of europe's military help with the aggressive neighbors but recent studies reveal that it was a well connected and outward looking culture so this i think is the best you know so far so good kind of a this thing matlab what can I say? This is the very good essence. In essence, this is what the passage is talking about. Initially, you know, historians were ignorant about the Ethiopia's this thing. Power dynamics got reversed and all that. And then they talked about how it was shown as a weak and in trouble at the face of aggression from external this thing. You know, external forces. But Ethiopia was basically not that weak and all. It was just sponsoring its own mission of diplomacy, faith and commerce. So they were not that weak. So, let's read ahead. Medieval texts have documented how strong connection between Christian communities, Christian communities of Ethiopia and Europe were invaluable to establishing military and trade links between the two civilizations. This text did not reveal how the connection between Christian communities of Ethiopia and Europe were invaluable to the trade link between the two civilizations. Straight out goes out. Historians were under an illusion that Ethiopia needed. So, were they in an illusion? They were never illusion. The first line itself says that they may have been ignorant about that idea. But it was not that, you know, they were ignorant as, as in fact. Okay, so they were not really ignorant. So, they knew it's just that the power dynamics got changed. Yeah. So, Europe was more powerful. Maybe that is why they chose to keep quiet. So, they were under illusion that needed military protection from their neighbor but in fact the country had close commercial and religious connections with them is not something that suits us the essence of the paragraph now i'll come back again at the passage uh, the option one and reread it again maybe you know i may have missed something in the first read medieval historical sources selectively promote selectively promote they do not promote anything they reveal something okay the narrative that powerful european forces and also, uh, the powerful forces were called on to protect weak African civilizations such as Ethiopia. But this is far from reality. This is not what historical sources find out. Okay. So, yeah, I hope you have understood the uh, explanation. Thank you.